Hi, this is John with Why of the Scripture, inoculating you against the woke mindset of this world with the Bible, with the Word of God. And today we're going to look at uh, something from the Old Testament, from Ezekiel chapter 36, 23. And this is God speaking through the prophet Ezekiel. And it says, I will show the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, the name that you have profaned among them. Then the nations will know that I am the Lord, declares the sovereign Lord, when I show myself holy uh, through you before their eyes. These were instructions to Ezekiel. And uh, that's God revealing himself to Ezekiel and to us. And uh, God is holy. And Jesus Christ was holy. When he walked this earth, he never sinned a single time. And uh, God is perfect. And uh, that's one reason that he wants us to be holy as well. In fact, yes, he has provided us uh, the means by which to obtain holiness. Whenever we believe on Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, he comes into our life and uh, his uh, righteousness is imputed to us. We receive his righteousness. Did we do anything to deserve that? No, we didn't. Uh, we've uh, been sinners and we have actually been those people have, that have profaned the name of the Lord and we've uh, profaned the laws of God. But uh, here, uh, God accepts us in spite of our sin. And uh, he knows that we can't be cleansed from sin without Jesus Christ. And then uh, what happens is once we receive Jesus Christ into our life, then we receive that gift of the Holy Spirit. It's called Holy Spirit because it too is a, is a person of God that comes to live within us. And it leads us into holiness. So uh, as we read the Bible, and as we study the Word of God, and as we pray, God convicts us of our sin, uh, helps us uh, to recognize those ways that we fall short. Then, if we repent of that sin, and we turn away from that sin, and we seek to walk in the Spirit, uh, to listen to what the Holy Spirit in the Bible is telling us on how we are to live, then we are through God's power. We can't do it on our own. But through God's power, we are made holy. And isn't that a wonderful thing that God works to clean us up on a daily basis if we surrender to Him? Have you surrendered to uh, uh, the Lord? Have you put you, uh, Are you a Christ follower? follower? And have you made a mission to set your eyes on Jesus Christ and to live for him? And uh, you might say, well, I want to live for myself. I want to do what I want to do. Well, you have every opportunity to do that if you wish. But uh, the problem is you're caught up in sin at this time. And if you do that, then from an eternal standpoint, that will lead you to destruction. And uh, But God uh, is drawing people to himself and drawing people to Jesus Christ to believe. And uh, I believe that he is drawing many people that watch this broadcast. Uh, and the fact is, I know it because uh, we've got people that continue to pray for you. And uh, the Bible tells us that when we pray for people, he will draw people to himself. And when the word is uh, presented to people, then uh, the Word actually helps draw people as well. So, are you being drawn to Christ? Uh, you know, the Bible says that God is calling, but that uh, Jesus said that uh, there many are called, but uh, there's actually uh, only a few that answer. Well, that few numbers in the millions, but as far as how many people that were on earth, uh, it is a few. and uh, But I believe that you might be one of those that's being called by God to believe on Jesus Christ and the, become a Christ follower and uh, allow yourself uh, to be cleansed by the Word of God 
and be cleansed through the power of the Holy Spirit into a life of holiness. And the uh, Bible says uh, without uh, righteousness, uh, we won't be able to see God. And I know I want to see God after I die. And uh, we can. The Bible promises that we can. We actually uh, promises that he has prepared a place for us there in heaven. And uh, he said, if I hadn't prepared a place for you, uh, you know, when he was leaving, uh, he said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. And if I didn't do that, then I would have told you. But we have a place to be with God. He doesn't want us to perish and to uh, be in hell uh, with an, you know, eternity full of uh, punishment, judgment. He wants us to live in mercy and he wants us to live with him. And uh, I hope that it is your desire uh, to uh, go to heaven, to live with God, to live with Jesus Christ. And... Uh, to uh, actually desire to be made holy by the Bible and by the Holy Spirit of God. And when you receive Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit starts to work in you, then you can achieve uh, holiness. You won't be 100% holy until you're glorified, but uh, uh, He can do a mighty work in you. Uh, this is John Fly the Scripture, encouraging you to get deep into the Word of God and let the Word of God get deep into you.